Hello YouTube. <clears throat> In this video we're going to talk about how to test and troubleshoot your uh, vehicle speed sensor. So we're starting out in the car here and at the dash and usually the typical symptoms will be your uh, speedometer basically doesn't work and then also you'll notice that your um, your travel meter and your odometer or your you know your mileage doesn't um, doesn't work either. So, um, and then sometimes this will kick on when you're driving down the road and you'll, when you'll notice when it kicks on, so does your, your mileage gauges down here, they'll start working again. Um, so if you're experiencing that, there's a very good chance that that's your uh, speed sensor going out. The rest of the gauges, like your RPM and your fuel and temperature, they'll all work. And, uh, so uh, if you're having those symptoms, there's a very good chance that you need to check out your vehicle speed sensor. So next I'll swing over to the engine bay and show you what we're working on there. Okay, here we are in the engine bay. What you need to do is uh, get your air pipe, your air intake pipe out of the way. Um, it's just got felt screwdriver screw there. You just loosen that, same on the other end. It's pretty bright down here, I have a hard time to see. There, it's that one there. And then um, just get any hoses that are clamped on out of the way, like this was clamped over there. Um, there wasn't there was a hose on here you just pull it off and it went right there and then you're gonna have to wrestle with this because it's got this bottom piece on it but basically get it up and out of the way and uh, what that does for you is clears it out you can get your vehicle speed sensor oh it's really bright I hope this is showing up okay which is right down here and all you need to do is there's a there's a back tab right back there you have to press on the hope this is showing up you have to press on the back of that tab and you'll kind of feel it click um, and then you pull the front out I'm gonna need two hands but essentially so what you're doing there is um, getting this connector off and that's your vehicle speed sensor right there all right here's a better shot of that vehicle speed sensor um, I want to show you right there you got to push that back tab and then you pry this back here and it slides slides that way so I'll reach in there and... there we go so I took it off and uh, hopefully this will show up on camera there's a red a yellow and a black cable back there that'll become important and the red ones on this side the yellows in the middle and the blacks all the way over and then you get access to these pins right there um, right there and those will be important. I'll show you what we're gonna do next Okay, this is kind of tricky doing this one hand and I cheated I'm supposed to be using a ground point, but I just put it on my battery which essentially is a ground point <clears throat> and uh, So and I put my uh, meter on continuity make sure you put your leads in the correct spot for your meter and uh, So now I'm gonna take my red lead I've turned the ignition key to the start position, but I haven't turned the in the engine's not running obviously, but it's all the way to the last position so it's charged up. Now I just reach in here and I'm gonna touch the um the black pin, which is the far right, and you can hear it. Sorry about that. Right there, and you hear it because I'm getting continuity. So that means you got a good ground. And um the way I usually do it is if I touch this uh, bolt right here, oops, I get a good ground to there and I'd usually just do that, but I just got one hand and I'm holding the camera so I just stuck it in there because it wedged in, but that's essentially the same thing. Um, but it's kind of for your, it says you're supposed to use the body ground, but the body ground cable actually runs to the negative terminal anyways. Anyway, so that's the first step. Okay, the next one's, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to show it or not. Um, same thing, I got my uh, lead over here. I've switched over to voltage, and I got it on, i um, going to measure around, approximately 12 volts of DC, so I set my meter accordingly. And then you take the, uh, your lead, still going to the ground on the battery there, and um, we're going to touch the center pin next, which should be, I think I said it was a yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow. Sorry for the shaky camera, it's all one-handed. And there we go. 
and I get battery voltage. It's not going to be exactly battery voltage, but it's close. You'll see it's like 11.88. If I did it on the battery, it'd probably be more like 12. Um, but it's running through some resistance to the wires. And the last one I'm going to do, I'll do it right now, is you get to the to the last wire, and you get approximately 5 volts, 4.8. That's almost 5 volts. That's your signal voltage. So if all that works, that tells you your wiring is not the issue. Um, at least all the way up to that connector. Turn this off here. If for some reason that did not work, um, I'll show you something real quick. On your kick panel down here, you'd want to get to, um, there should be a 10 amp fuse down here. And the bottom, you want to make sure your fuses are good down there. I believe it's this bottom red one, but I can't really see. No, I think it's a blue one. I can't see from this angle. But it's one of these bottom ones. It's your number one. It should be a 10 amp, I believe. But just check your fuses down there. If you're having trouble with those not working. So after you did all that, um, that'll tell you that your uh, your circuitry, If you know, the next step there is if you're still having trouble, clean that connector, uh, maybe some electrical cleaner. If you're still having issues, then you know that... Um, your car is working all the way good up to that connector. It most likely is your vehicle speed sensor. It needs to be swapped out. Um, hope this video helps you out. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out.